Alright, uh, for this particular lesson, you will need your resource book. As mentioned to you, uh, you need a resource book. Uh, please fill in the blanks for the resource book. And if there's anything you do not understand, right, you just feel free to ask me through WhatsApp. Okay? Um, we have done this actually in class, uh, the first part of it. Uh, okay, now uh, the learning objective uh, is to use the discriminant. Now, what's discriminant data? I'll explain to you. And you need to identify the conditions for these quadratic expression to be positive or negative okay now you may not know what i'm talking about uh, later when we do the okay this one i'm done ready so i will move okay so now uh, as i mentioned to you in class this particular expression that you have okay uh quadratic expression uh, in the it's not an equation okay this one is an expression expression means don't have equal to something one don't have y equal this fx equal this or a yeah, square plus bx plus c equals zero so don't have the equal sign uh, it's an expression okay expression now what's the limitation of this expression uh, it's not very useful in sketching quadratic graph because it does not show features like uh, intercepts and turning point as we have discussed in class so we need to change this uh, we spent a lot of time talking about this completed square form and uh, in the lesson earlier this uh, morning we actually talk about the factorized form which is just to factorize the whole thing lah. so we have done this i actually did this for you i straight away boom, i went down to sketching this for you huh? okay now i want you to go through this question with me again okay uh because i did it quite fast just now okay just want to make sure everybody is on the same page as me huh? now we are supposed to express this in this form uh this a p and q they are numbers okay now although you see a minus sign here a minus sign here okay when you work out um, when you express this in this form right uh, this a can be minus plus this p can be minus uh, plus uh, this q can be minus uh, plus all right that means it's just an uh, a, a constant a constant can be positive or negative okay so we have discussed this in class already i don't want to belabor the point we have actually uh, factorized and solved this already right some of you use the calculator and i told you the thing that you need to take note of is always to take out common factor first before you use this uh, from the calculator to calculate if you wish to lah huh? because some of you were taught that way but this two must be there otherwise huh, if you simply write this Okay, which your calculator will tell you, right? Then this line is not equivalent to this line. Okay, I hope you understand what I was saying this uh, uh, morning in class. Huh? Okay, hence find the x-intercepts. Okay, let me write this now. Uh, 2x plus 4x minus 1, right? Y, this, that means this one is 2x plus 4x minus 1. Am I right? Okay, now they say hence. Now this word hence, uh, very very important in mathematics whether it's a maths or e maths this word hands right means you have to use the result from uh part one the previous part uh, which is this one equals to this one you have to use this result in order to get the re uh, answer for part b if you don't use this result you use other method you will be marked zero here you understand so this word hands are please underline uh, very important a lot of students ignore it in the exam and they lose precious marks okay they want you to use these and not these to find the answer do you follow ah uh, that means this result uh, okay so find the x intercept how to find the x intercept very simple uh, huh? uh okay all of you know that the x intercept means okay this one is a happy face right means where it cuts the x-axis right okay so how do you find uh, where it cuts the x-axis your this point must have some x value some x value right and then your y must be zero am i correct okay but they didn't ask you for the coordinates huh? this is coordinates what i'm drawing here is coordinates they ask you for the x-intercept that means they only want the number the number okay so read carefully yeah uh, if they ask you for x intercept you give them just a number not coordinates i'm just trying to tell you the y must set it to zero okay so i'm going to show you here 
uh, all right that's all okay so at the s-intercept uh, you need to set your y to zero which is here that means this fella you set it to zero la. okay and of course when you divide both sides by two this fella disappears and then you then you get the answer already all right how do you get an equation ah uh, the equation on the line of symmetry uh, uh, we mentioned it just now okay uh, I asked you right I asked you in class uh, let's say uh, I want to find between 0 to 100 and then I, I made a joke right I said oh what is the number just in between here in the middle of 0 and 100 that's a very difficult right actually so easy it's just 50 right but actually how do we get the 50 uh? it's very simple we take the two numbers that we want to find the middle of we add them up together whether whatever this number is put here whatever this number is put here we add them together divide by two that would be the middle number okay and because this equation of line of symmetry i take note uh, is always x equals something one that's why it's called an equation mark can you copy this now okay a lot of people uh, a lot of students right they will just give the answer uh, they, they'll do this you know they will say oh zero hundred example uh, i'm just giving you an example I, i'm not answering this question uh, they'll say 50 no it's not 50 it must be x equals to whatever okay so in this particular example okay it's not zero and hundred uh, it's not zero and hundred it is these two values uh minus four and one you add them together then you divide by two okay so that will give you the answer let me show you the answer huh? like that okay you don't have to say uh, this uh, in the exam you are really rush for time you don't have to say this you simply have to say uh, like that can already okay it's quite understood huh? okay uh, or you can actually or if you want to just write a short one uh, but normally right they would separate that means part b la you find this part c la you find this okay so not to worry uh. so can you see the working here hey everybody i want you to take note uh, you put brackets it's very clear okay we work using template template meaning uh like this uh, like this uh, uh, like this uh, okay so you take the two numbers the minus four and one and then you divide it by two add them up divide by two okay so that's how you find the line of symmetry okay later i'll tell you uh, uh the complete square the completed square form right how to find the line of symmetry okay now let's move on to the y intercept actually y intercept very simple huh? y intercept as you can see right it's just this one huh? okay as we mentioned in class and the turning point okay let me show you ah. Uh. turning point ah, uh, you see ah. Uh, uh, this is a happy face right okay. this is a happy face okay line of symmetry uh, is a line that cuts the quadratic graph into exactly two equal halves so definitely uh, whether it's a happy or a sad face right the line of symmetry will cut the either maximum or minimum point all right so we're going to use this concept uh, to find the answer okay so how to find the answer we already know that this is the uh, line of symmetry okay which means that anywhere here okay let me use this one to explain uh, anywhere here my x value each of these points uh, each of these points including this minimum point right uh, the x value must be minus 3 over 2 of some y value minus 3 over 2 so on and so forth right okay minus 3 over 2 of some y value am i correct okay uh, so what do we do we know that the equation of this line is uh, this curve is 2x squared plus 6x minus 8 we know that if this point which is a minimum point and which has the x value as minus 3 over 2 uh, we establish it just now already right everybody agree that along this line okay 
all the x values are minus 3 over 2 that's why it's called a line of symmetry here huh? okay uh, we sub this x inside here sub this x inside here you will get the answer already okay so that's all all right huh? now as i mentioned okay don't 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 need to write uh so much huh? because it's very time wasting huh? you can just write turning point is like that okay and please everybody when you substitute in uh, i need you to uh, put brackets in your calculator without these brackets right the calculator may not give you minus 25 over 2 okay must remember the calculator follow your instructions so if your instructions are not clear you didn't tell the calculator that you want to square this minus also the calculator will not square it okay so that's something you need to take note of huh? okay now let's go to the next one sketch now i already sketched for you in class already but probably some of you didn't finish that uh, huh? i mean i didn't have the time to finish now what was i trying to say in class uh, when i use a wire and try to um, show you certain things uh, what i'm trying to show you or tell you right is that uh, a quadratic curve right huh? a quadratic curve uh, will always very fixed one you will look I mean it's a curve law huh? so whether it's more to the left or more to the right or higher up or higher down right the shape doesn't change you, you understand uh, that means uh, the, the shape cannot suddenly um, I mean it can be wider or narrower what I'm trying to say is that your curve uh, must be a very nice curve like what like this okay like this okay so your curve uh, your curve is going to go nicely okay and because minus 4 is here 1 is here so your curve is going to be more towards the left but it's still going to be a very nice u-shaped curve you understand okay uh, when you do your work and then you do sketching uh, i'll show you some of your friends curve and then you will you will understand what i'm trying to tell you here lah okay uh you, some of you will give very very funny curves okay now you are asked to explain uh, hence uh, explain why this one has two distinct roots can you see that this curve cuts the x-axis at two points where's my cursor okay, here and here so when it cuts at two two points okay it means that it has two different roots roots are huh? roots right means answer or solution or two x values okay so this word roots right is like the answer when you solve this equation when you solve this equation right the answer that you get uh, which is here right they are called roots okay but now you see uh, they want you to explain using the graph okay your syllabus are uh, your uh, 4049 AMAT syllabus right requires you to explain like that then a lot of students cannot explain one. okay but never mind uh, we'll train you to explain uh. so you say since the graph intersects the x-axis at two distinct points you must use this word distinct means different different huh? uh next time you will see same point uh i'll explain uh next time uh. so this has two distinct roots okay all right uh. okay uh actually this this one uh, should be the equation of uh. why the equation all right can you change the question uh? why the equation this one uh, has two distinct roots hence this 
equal zero uh, has two distinct roots because only when you solve this equation right then you will get the roots okay can you add that in uh oh just now uh, just now um, okay uh let me see uh check whether oh yeah 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 ah yeah 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 This question no problem uh, This question no problem. It's part two. It's part. It's question two uh. Okay now question two. Okay if you missed it, you just you see the good thing about video is if you missed it right, you can just scroll back uh, Okay, I uh, like in class. Uh, in class, I have to uh, repeat for you, which is actually something I like uh. Okay, if you don't understand in class, please ask. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that video right, you can go back and then you can see exactly what I said uh. But if you don't understand, please WhatsApp me and I'll explain to you. Now, this second question, right? Again, they ask you to do the same thing. Express this in this form. So what should we do? Take out common factor first, if there is any. So there is. Okay, then I factorize this particular part here, which will give me this. That's all. Okay, so that's the first part. You have already expressed this in this form. Finish. Okay, now next one. They say hence. Hence means what? You must use the previous part. X minus 2, X plus 1. Uh. So it is here. Uh, okay, so how do you do this? You have to hence. That means uh, using this result. Where was the word hence? Hence here. Uh, using this result, you go and find whatever this and whatever this is they ask of you okay uh, so at the x, x intercept y goes zero then you take get the two uh, the two these are what we call roots huh okay oh uh, wait, wait these are what we call roots right But these roots, right? These roots is this is a set phase, right? It's where it cuts, ah. It's where it cuts the x axis. So I hope you are very clear about all this terminology. Uh, that's all I'm trying to tell you. Ah. Okay, then line uh, symmetry very easy. This plus this divided by two. Okay, but you must remember to write the x. You don't write the x, right? Even if you get this number, ah, you see many of the. Uh, students before you are uh, they will say the answer for the line of symmetry is half wrong okay it must be x equals to half correct uh, like that okay now we go next one now find the one that send the coordinates of the turning point okay so i told you already use for this uh factorized form uh, for this factorized form right which is like that one um Wait, uh. Factorized form, uh, uh, you have to use the line of symmetry. Wait, let me see where my yeah, here, cursor here. Okay, use the line of symmetry because at the turning point here, your line of symmetry, your line of symmetry is called x equals half. That means everywhere on this line the x value is half okay and because this line has this equation okay so you substitute this x value inside in order to find the y value uh, so that's what I'm doing here okay uh, don't waste time writing all these just say turning point like that can already okay now next one huh? okay hand sketch this and use it to explain why this one has two distinct real roots distinct means uh, the the answers right i mean the x values are uh, that they have are different okay wait i can't see my cursor okay here uh, two distinct real roots, right? Means just now what I told you, no? Okay, you sketch the thing first, ah. Huh? Ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Can you see, not? 
what I'm trying, what I'm trying to tell you just now, right, is when you have x equals to two and x equals to minus one, okay, uh, minus one is here, two is here, right. So what I'm trying to tell you, ah, uh, is your curve, right? Your curve, ah, uh, is going to be more to the right, to the right side, okay. You draw it like that. This is your line of symmetry, right? You draw it like that. Wait, where is it? Coming out soon, ah, uh, wait, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, that's all. Okay. Now, actually, uh, what you can do uh, is this. Uh, uh, different people have different styles, but you need to understand what I was trying to tell you just now. I'm trying to tell you that one of the answers is 2, this side, right? So there are like two spacings here. This one is minus 1 only. So your curve uh, is going to go more towards this side. You, you, you follow me? There should be more space here to accommodate the 2. Then space here because down here only minus one ma ah uh, okay then of course this one you know is your um x equals to half then so on and so forth okay you need to label lah uh. hey, where where's it hey, where never label aluma okay you need to label ladies and gentlemen if you don't label this wrong okay this point must be labeled meaning that this half uh what is the value uh? half okay, let me check uh. Uh, 9 over 2 half 9 over 2 uh, must be labeled if you don't label these uh, we will not give you the full marks okay now let me go back just now that question did they label uh if it's not labeled right then it is not correct oh dear it's not labeled okay so you must label Okay, everybody go back to this particular page. Huh? Question example 1. You must label this. Okay, you don't label it as, what's the... Okay, you must label as minus 3 over 2, minus 25 over 2. So you must label the turning point, label the intercepts, and your shape must be correct. Then we give you the marks. Understand? Okay, so these are the three important features that I mentioned to you, right? Okay, then you... Okay, well, all this done already, huh? Okay, so everybody, please take note, nah. You must label this maximum point here, okay? Now, let's move on to the next question. Okay, quick check. You go and do your own... Uh, try it out, or you can pause the video, then go and do your own, okay? Okay, assuming that uh, I don't know how much time has passed already. Okay, then you tried out already. Huh? So now let's see. Uh, the y, the x-intercepts are... To, to find the x-intercept, right, you must have some x-value. So you set the y zero. Uh, then you will get... It's not finished really. Very fast. The zero, you... Okay, those who don't know, uh, you let y be zero. And then you can solve and then get the answer already. Lah. Okay, that's all. Next one. Uh, it was a question. Uh? Okay. Find the coordinates of the turning point and then later we determine whether the turning point is a maximum or minimum. Okay, so find the coordinates of the turning point is part B, what we are doing. Uh? Turning point, very simple, right? We already know that these are happy or sad face. Uh? Take note, uh, ladies and gentlemen, because of this minus times this, this minus x times this, 3x, right? So you get minus 3x squared. In fact, it's minus 6x squared. Uh, so you'll be a set phase. And one of the uh, roots is 4 over 3. Sorry, not 4 over 5. Huh? Wait. 4 over 3. And the other one is 5, right? Ah, how do you find the middle? Okay, it's not a curve, uh, it's a straight line down, okay? Very hard for me to draw a straight line, sorry about that. Uh, you take this plus this divided by 2, okay? But you must put the x equals. So it's 4 over 3, put bracket, plus 5, put bracket divided by 2. Uh, and don't write here, okay? Don't write here. Uh. You write 
next line because it must be an equation for line of symmetry yeah okay so uh this one if i'm not wrong 5 10 15 19 over 6 yeah correct it's correct 19 over 6 huh ah uh, then you sub in finish okay so let me erase this this is your maximum point uh nineteen six one two one six like that okay now you go and coordinates is this one uh, no need to write all this uh, really really don't don't waste time you just say turning point it's understood uh the one is a coordinates okay let's oh they ask you to explain whether it's a maximum or minimum point right okay then you now you say uh since the hmm <sighs> okay lah uh they they um okay since the coefficient of x square is negative that means it's going to be a set phase right uh the turning point is maximum okay clear why because the coefficient of x square is negative how we know negative minus x times 3x is minus 3x square minus 3x square times 2 is minus 6x square the coefficient of uh, x square is negative okay next one this one is another question uh, but they ask you to do the same thing okay you just find the roots first or the x intercept x intercept uh, please take note uh, x intercept if they just say x intercept right it's not the coordinates uh, so just uh write the value of x will do don't write in coordinates if you were to write like that uh, if you were to write as a uh, half zero uh, minus five zero sorry we have to mark you wrong because it's coordinates they don't want coordinates they want the x intercepts only okay now next one ah this uh you see uh, we take this this plus this divided by 2 you will get this okay so the line of symmetry uh, let, let me write here lah. it will help you in your emacs okay the one i'm uh, showing you now you do more in emacs huh? a line of symmetry right okay is x equals to half this one plus something over 2 The line of symmetry uh, is something plus something over 2 half minus 5 uh, what, what drop okay uh, then you will get wait uh, something dropped uh, where's my cursor okay here x equals to minus 9 over 4 all right okay now that you have found that uh, you sub inside inside where inside this equation it means you sub this inside here you sub this inside here press calculator you will get this okay don't worry uh, normally o level uh, they don't give you such um such scary numbers don't have uh, uh I'm not saying that O level will be very nice integers. No, no, no. Um, normally the numbers are nicer, lah. Huh? Okay, so this is your turning point. Okay. Now, lastly, you have to determine whether it's maximum or minimum. Okay. So you say, oh, since the coefficient of x square is negative, how we know? See, ah, huh? hey, you must see carefully, ah. Huh? These times this will give you x square term, right? Which is two x square. But you must remember the times minus 3 so you get minus 6x squared okay also oh, you get a uh, yeah correct minus 6x squared that's why this is negative all right now we go to the next one okay now back to our favorite completed square form or perfect square huh? okay now you have to express this in this form okay and then find the y-intercepts and find the coordinates of the turning point of this one 
and then find the equation of the line of symmetry and then find the exact values okay this one i'll explain later uh, uh, explain later um, next time right you have this topic called search search a lot of exact values that you do manipulate with now let's do the first one okay how do i express it in this one okay you go and try uh, you should be expert in this now if you still uh not expert in this right we have a so-called wasted two weeks of lesson because we spend a lot of time doing this huh? okay so you go and try pause the video go and try huh? okay assuming you try any this is the answer okay now as i said right i don't like this method you see this whole chunk huh, can get rid of it okay so after ensuring that the coefficient of x square is 1 all right this doggy don't touch it you see doggy just stay here i force this to become a perfect square how uh put a perfect square some of you are uh, if you don't do what i ask you to do right you will leave out things here and there okay your answer may be correct but you will leave out these two maybe you may leave out certain things uh, huh? so please follow the format i ask you to do uh. this one come here this bracket become this then this doggy come here okay then remember inside here there is x square no problem there is 2x very good but there is a one here which we don't want that's why we have this here and remember to expand this which gives you this this times this okay they, they, they didn't do one step uh. Uh, if you are very strong in manipulation you can skip this step la. but i think as a beginner it's good to do this you won't get marks for this you know uh, you only get marks for this okay but if you skip steps and then you um oh yeah i wrote wrongly here if you skip steps and then you make a mistake then it's not worthy you know what i mean huh? after doing so much work so i strongly recommend you don't write this it's a waste of time huh? all right now uh, that you've gotten this perfect square form the completed square form you are ready to hence uh, hence means what okay now here listen carefully uh. this is the question that i want you to correct a mistake uh. hence means uh using hence means in chinese is uh okay I, I can't say chinese okay in okay uh hence uh, means using the result of this previous part which is that this is equals to this am i correct uh so minus 2 x plus 1 square so it's uh Like that, right okay you're supposed to use this because this is equal to this ah so hence i'll find the y intercept okay so i show you the answer okay so can i ask you ah uh, can i ask you is this solution correct the answer is correct you no know, but the working is wrong why is the working wrong the working is wrong because you didn't use these uh yeah not you lah not you uh this notes here right uh you must use this one why because hence this is the result from part one or part a sorry okay so you cannot use this you cannot use this uh, you cannot use it so what's the actual correct working to use uh okay i i, I erase this okay i erase this it's correct to sub in s equals zero but you must sub in s equals zero into this equation and not this equation okay so you sub x equals zero uh you will get answer four then you say hey, uh still the same la same answer why so troublesome must use this why must use this okay i'm telling you because of this word hands all right if they didn't say hands you can use this no problem uh, all right okay now similarly 
because they say hands find this and this right uh, so from here wait uh, I'm here now okay I'm here now uh. from here you can straight away say turning point Ayo. you can straight away say turning point is do you remember I cover this up cover the perfect square uh, I'll get the y value right so y equals to uh, 6 yeah. and when will it happen when will this be 0 when x equals to minus 1 that's why this is minus 1 hope you understand uh. we repeated this many times in class I think this is the hardest to understand for this whole chapter lah. all right now find the equation of line of symmetry no 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 I didn't go through this in class huh? because I wanted to go through now all right can you see ladies and gentlemen that from this completed square uh, uh, this is the completed square okay I can immediately know what is the line of symmetry you know uh, okay no need to say the equation uh, the line of symmetry right you see the line of symmetry must be equal to x equal minus 1 right but how do we get x equal to minus 1 it's from here what right? it's from here uh, because when you make this 0 to in order to make this 0 x must be equal to minus 1 yeah so this is how powerful this completed square is okay actually there are many many other applications huh? we will see as uh, the lessons go okay this one uh, find the exact values of x for which y equals 0 and sketch the graph of this one okay how do I do that huh? okay what we do is this uh, I, I actually taught you this in class huh? I don't know whether you still remember or not we already have the exact form right this is okay I write huh? this is the uh, so not not exact form sorry uh, we already have the completed square form completed square form okay I told you this completed square form can help you to solve quadratic equation right uh, so when you set y equal to 0 okay which is this one ah then now what do you do okay I'll show you step by step uh, remember we finally must get x okay wait ah uh. we finally must get x equal to something right or something right quadratic equation have two answers ah uh. so we are trying to make x alone on one side so we don't want this so we minus 6 minus 6 on both sides that's how we end up with this one no more and this one ends up here okay now we don't want the uh, minus 2 here so we are slowly slowly like removing I see uh, slowly slowly removing all the friends and relatives of uh, this x uh. Uh, those that are closer to this fella will be the relatives and all that so I square root both sides now when we square root uh, ladies and gentlemen must remember to put plus minus because there are two possible answers and then now we don't want this closest uh, relative or family member of this x so we minus one on both sides yeah this is your exact form so what does exact form mean uh? exact form means no decimal not not say no decimal uh it's exactly this form if now right i were to press a calculator the calculator will give me some funny answer like uh minus 0 0.5 whatever, whatever, whatever 10 digits 10 digits right we don't want that we don't want that okay we want this this is what we call exact <coughs> okay uh what are some other examples of exact uh some of the examples of exact are like uh, wait, uh, 2 pi plus 1 let's say okay or pi square also exact okay uh, that means you don't go and press the uh, pi then you square it then you press calculator no okay exact means you leave it as like maybe square root 2 this exact or uh, 30 yeah uh, 32 over 3 this is exact all right what is not exact 
when you go and press calculator uh, then it's 30 point six 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 seven ten digits then seven right two four six eight nine okay uh one more six then it's wrong okay you understand except means uh like that exactly like that 